Drones flying around Seoul could be a common sight in just a few years. With the goal of successfully commercializing urban air mobility in the capital by the year 2025, an event showcasing the latest in Valeda tech is held. Um ji takes us there. This is a non-detectable reconnaissance drone that can inspect up to about 500 kilometers around it. These kinds of drones are to be key strategic assets for the Republic of Korea Army. To Republic of Korea Army, drones can be a game changer on the battlefield. The Army has been mainly fighting on land, but with drones it can expand into the air. Futuristic drones are front and center at the 2022 Korea Drone and Urban Air Mobility Fair. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport began hosting the two-day event this Wednesday, offering a glimpse of how the future might look. The sports of the future are also being played on the sidelines of the event, combining the virtual world with physical reality. Racers from all over the globe are flying their cutting-edge drones around obstacle courses in the 2022 Korea Drone Race World Cup. The world's number one player in the women's category says she's very happy to come to Korea as she can improve her drone racing skills. There may be another race in Korea in October and I might come to participate again. I will keep improving myself to maintain my rank. Also, more than 1,000 athletes from home and abroad are competing in the Drone Soccer Championship, all showing off their drone dribbling skills. But drone sports weren't the only thing that was in the spotlight. The South Korean government has ambitious plans to commercialize urban air mobility in Seoul by 2025 and make it a means of everyday transportation by 2030. But the Minister of Land, Infrastructure and Transport says safety is key. For UAM to be positioned as a form of mobility for the public, it should be safe, convenient and affordable. In particular, we cannot make even 1% of a step forward unless 100% safety is guaranteed. In order to reach the required standard, he added that the ministry plans to submit a bill regarding UAM to the National Assembly in August. It'll push for drastic reform of the regulations to create a helpful environment for firms in the industry. Also, with the private sector, it'll undergo test flight projects to verify safety. The ministry will also come up with various measures to meet public demand and minimize risks in the early stages of commercialization. Also, UAM Team Korea, made up of local institutions and experts, will be in the center of private-led commercialization. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.